So you want to shoot a short film, but all you got is about $650 and you don't want to use your cell phone? Hold on. I got something for you. I'm David Griffin. Welcome to the channel. But if you're here for the first time, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. All right, so let's get straight to business. So you're trying to shoot a short film, but all you got is about $650 and you don't want to buy just a camera and a lens because you're still going to need other things. Well, if we can change your mindset and you don't look to exactly the newfangled everything, we can help you get places that you ordinarily wouldn't have been able to go immediately with 650 bucks. If you're shooting a short film, you need a camera, of course. You need lenses, of course. You need some form of lighting, of course. You need some form of good sound, of course. Without every last one of these items, including, most importantly, your story, you got nothing, right? Now, we can help you with the story, but here's what we can help you with. First off, before I get to telling you exactly what it is, take a look at what we can do with the kit I'm gonna recommend to you. Constitution? Yeah. <laughs> Why are you reading that? You know they violate our rights anyway. Well, what rights are you talking about? Because at least if you know what's in the Constitution, you know what rights are being violated, because I'm pretty sure that's what you're thinking. I at least want to know how the game is stacked up against me, as they say, how it's played and what was it based on. People say the game wasn't even made for us, but if they're using this same rule book that determines how they create laws and rules, then, I mean, maybe I should know what was built, you know, to set the country up, if it's a game against me anyway. Because if I don't know what's in there, how do I know what rights I even have? You got a point? You got another one? That's why I got two. Start with amendment number two. You might like that one. What's that one? Read it. And all of that was shot on a Canon EOS M. This camera, born in 2012, is an excellent, excellent camera today because it has been actually hacked with something called Magic Lantern software. Magic Lantern software bypasses the camera's internal processing and allows the camera to film internally 14-bit 1080p raw. That's right, you heard it. 14-bit 1080p raw and you can also get 10-bit 5k 4k 2.5k or 2.8k depending on which free version of magic lantern software you get they've hacked the software allowing the best and strongest image that this camera can produce to be able to be given to you the user all for free you have to get Magic Lantern software for free. You have to get MLV app for free, which helps you convert the footage you're gonna get. And then you can edit it in whatever software you want, or you can edit it right there in the MLV app. How convenient is this, you guys? Also, with this camera, you can shoot up to 48 frames per second slow motion. Does it autofocus? No. Does it have a tilty flippy screen? No. 
It's a horrible operating system. Yes. Is it a low light beast? Is it a low light machine? No, it's not. It's base ISO is 100 and images I found to be very clean all the way up to about 800. After that, you're very far gone, but 800 is pushing it. So you want to stay in brightly lit situations. But what can this camera do? As far as I'm concerned, broad daylight, this camera can have you covered because you can go from 100 to 400 really clean. But once the light gets a little dim, you can push it to ISO 800 and that's it. This is not a Sony a7S III. But when you're doing and dealing with filmmaking, you want to make sure things are light and bright and lit up because you don't want any camera to struggle with light. And this camera is no exception. It's not a Blackmagic Pocket Cinema 4K. It's not a Sony a7S III. But what it is, is a camera that only costs $200 right now. $200. Yes, you can only get them used, but they're all over the internet. This is a great camera to begin the framework and foundation for a low budget cinema camera kit. Caleb Pike even talked about it. Far as lenses, this is an APS sensor, APS-C side sensor, which is a bigger sensor than a micro four thirds, not as large as full frame, but almost as large. But you can get very low cost lenses, $75 lenses like this, Mike, 25 millimeter F1.8, which is good in low light, that helps this low light, this sensor, be better in lower light. You can get a 50 millimeter seven artisans lens f1.8 for $75. Now guess what you got? You got a medium angle lens and you got a portrait lens so you can do dialogue scenes and medium to wide angle scenes. You see that's $125 combined with the $200 body. Look where we are. Now for our kit we're just gonna go ahead and drop in a zoom h1. If we get it used, we can get it for about $65 off of eBay. We can get a $29 lav mic as well. So now we can get dialogue scenes up close, far away, or we can take the Zoom H1 and just sit it down between subjects and let them both talk. Just put it out of frame, and now you can let the Zoom H1 gather the audio from both if they're close enough. You see, now we got options. We haven't blown your budget yet. Now you can get maybe a 35 to a $40 five in one reflector. And now what do you have? Control over sunlight, control over natural light. So now you just helped your picture during broad daylight. Now you got your audio. Now you have a camera body and you're shooting in raw for a base price of $200. What camera today can you think of that's $200 that's gonna get you all that? I can't think of it. I'll tell you, if you're a beginning filmmaker, this camera has what you need to get your fundamentals down. A little bit of slow motion, not enough to make full on commercials or nothing like that, but you can definitely do a lot of good looking imagery with this camera. 14 bit raw, you guys. All the software out there is free. DaVinci Resolve 17, you can edit and color grade in. It's free. All you gotta do is change your way of thinking, Get your mind ready, sit down, study how filming and lighting works, and make sure you learn from guys who do audio. And with this as the basis of your kit, you can get the job done. Now, I got links to all of the things you can go out and go get to start your filming and start your filming career. You can take those little scripts you got, big scripts you got, and start filming them. And you'll be filming in RAW, which is common practice in Holly, real Hollywood anyway. But look, I'm not saying you can go make a Hollywood movie out of it, but you never know. Somebody might be able to. But all right, you guys. So what do you think? Can the Canon EOS M, a camera made in 2012, nine years old, going on 10, shooting 14-bit raw 1080p or 5K at 10-bit internal, do you think a camera like that for $200 is worth it today? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this video. I'm David Griffin. Thanks for following. Hit that subscribe button, y'all. All right, I'm out.